say that Leona is with me now. We'll talk about your new single and album in just a moment. We started the programme with the, the news of the cost of the London riots. I know you've been very outspoken about them. Mm -hmm. It must be very hard. You still live in Hackney yes. and L.A. Yeah. to see that happening to the community that you love so dearly. Yeah, um, it was really upsetting, really devastating um, that people in our community could actually do that um, to their fellow neighbours. Um, so it was really, really upsetting. Um, and now I think it's just about re rebuilding and just um, putting positive vibes back into the area. Um, it was upsetting, but we got to move on and take something positive from it. And do you think it would make you leave London and, and go LA full stop, or you quite happy? Never. No, no, not going to let a few rioters like put a damper on London. I love my area, um, and I love London, and my family and friends are there. That's brilliant news, and obviously a community like Hackney needs uh, the support of uh, one international superstar <laughs> who's got a new single out. So tell me yeah. about that. It's you, you're definitely an artist who isn't churning these things out every five minutes. You yeah. clearly have taken a decision to go slowly and, and is this a new direction would you say? Um, yeah I took a bit of time out because I went on tour which was amazing and then had time to kind of really get into the album and, and just jump into it full throttle and mm. I'm really really excited about the outcome um, it's a very eclectic album and uh, the first single's kind of got a good energy about it and I felt like it I needed to release something like this mm -hmm. with a happy vibe, you know? Um, so, yeah, I'm really excited about it. You are known, obviously, for your voice, which is presumably what you want to be known for. But unfortunately, in this industry and the world we live in, it's also about your image, isn't it? Do you feel that you've changed your image because of the pressure of living in L.A. and being in the spotlight? Or would that have happened anyway to somebody of, of your age and you're kind of, you know, developing as a person? I think that... Um, you know, just being young and experimenting with different styles and um, growing up in London especially, I think, you know, we've got the best kind of fashion here mm. and everything's so new and unique. So I'm always trying new things I have since I was in my teens and I always will until I kind of, you know, stop getting old. Well, you look, you're looking great on it. So. Thank you. Um, I really like an exclusive from you now. We know that you were a huge part of the closing ceremony in Beijing. Yeah. What have you got lined up for us for 2012? London needs to know. I know. Well, I'm hoping to uh, be involved in some way. Um, obviously, the um, closing ceremony for me was amazing mm. um, to perform with Jimmy Page and da meet David Beckham and be involved in it. Um, it was such a, a great time. So I hope that I'll be involved in some way. I'm not sure exactly how, but in some of the things that are going on around um, 2012, I'll be involved in that. Okay, well, when you've got the details, come back and yeah, tell us. Definitely. Liz, good luck with the single Thank collide you so much. and the album. Thank, Thank you for you. coming in to talk to us. Thank you.